Aries, we need to talk about your addictions. Uh, watch the intro. It's, a, it's an energized one. Just warning you. Oh! Yes! Full moon in the Leo and boom! You're welcome. We're wearing them because it feels correct. Um, here we are at the Open Jar Studios. We are listening to our Uranus and our Mars because they are trying to change everything. So lean into that right now. <laughs> lean into the change, surrender to it, allow it to happen. There's a reason why it will always work out. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, here's what's happening. Le Pulled out my fringe. Leo moon, Aquarius sun, directly opposite each other. Uh, Leo moon is at nine, Aquarius sun is at nine, right next to Jupiter also at nine. This is huge. This is like a choir. This is like a big, big, big choir of angels saying, Leo sun, this is what inspires you. Deep, 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 deep down into your subconscious. This is what is part of your being, part of what makes you so uniquely beautiful, part of what connects you to spirit. Jupiter above, next to the Aquarius, says we are expanding your possibility with the collective. So what this choir is saying, this is your gift <laughs> to the collective. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, it's a great time. The other heavy hitters of this moment are uh, Venus and Pluto. The reason why I'm wearing this today is because I looked at this chart and I was gooped and gagged by um, the Venus-Pluto, both at 25 degrees right next to each other. That was the very first thing that my mind went to. And when... Um, I, I often think of Pluto as like uh, the Persephone journey, and Venus is obviously a huge player in that, obvi. Venus being values, love, uh, tangibility, sex, coin, the actual dollar, Pluto being divine transformation, surrender, explosion. How can you surrender to transforming your values? How can you surrender to being grounded within what you're gonna bring for spring? How can you surrender to the journey? So that is what we are going, come on now. That is what we are going to talk to the cards about today. We're going to ask what can I, Persephone journey down with the, um, with the concrete specificity of finding my unique inspiration for the collective. Casual, right? Okay. Enjoy. Okay. So, uh, yes, the devil is your heart of the matter. So, what does this mean? This is addiction to a substance, or this is addiction to a belief, addiction to negativity, addiction to um, something that has been projected onto you. Three supporting factors are the chariot, you also have the wheel of fortune, and then you also have upside down the seven of pentacles. So let's start with the chariot. This is pure manifestation. You've done it before, so you can do it again. Right? So this is what are we actually manifesting and is it bringing us closer to love or further away from fear? What are we asking for and why are we asking for it? Do you know what genuinely inspires you? Do you know what is in your subconscious that you're searching for? I think this says you are needing to go down so that you can work on your um, you are going down, sorry, 
you're going down to, to Mars to work on your groundedness. You're going down to work on what you have sensually attached yourself to. Taurus, sensuality, the senses, sex. So, clock, why the devil is here? Clock, <laughs> clock, clock, um, how your intentions have been pressure cooked. Directly under the devil is the wheel of fortune, is fate. You have not made a wrong choice. You are not bad. You are not wrong. You are not um, being reprimanded. You are very, very, very correct in your journey. You are very correct in where you are at. You are perfectly on time. So don't spend uh, conscious time being like, oh my God, I'm awful, I'm awful, I'm awful. That's not what this is about. This is about saying, yes, I am here now. Let's change the perspective, says the Seven of Pentacles. Let's change the perspective of what we have grounded ourselves into. Maybe they need to be going this way. Maybe we need to re-examine this. Maybe we need to take a moment of contemplation before we dive. Maybe before we go into our subconscious to do this investigative work, we need to say, mm, am I ready? Am I ready to tackle these addictions? Am I ready to tackle fear? What do I need to tackle fear? Do you have your tools? Do you have your armor? Do you have your necessities with you so that you can tackle fear correctly? Once we do this, once we are ready to do the investigative journey, when we surface, we will be healing our broken hearts. This is why this needs to happen, Aries. You need to clock your addictions to fear and attachments and triggers so that you can heal your heart. And Uranus is saying, do that with love. Do that in nature. Venus is saying, I got you, boo. I got you. Your armor is art. Your armor is what you're valuing. Once you ask the question, you'll know the answer. This is, this is a deep one. So, um, message me if you want to do a reading. I'm here for you. You're okay. You got this. The chariot, fate, perception, these are all great things. These are big, big, big supportive things. So you're safe, you're safe. Just uh, this Leo moon is saying, clock your demons. They're unnecessary. I love you. Ooh, we did it. We just did four hours of filming. Thank you for that energy. Thank you for watching the vid. So here's, um, here's what's happening. I was talking about this in the Pisces video. Um, that thing that you've been sitting on, that thing that you've been worried about putting out there, that thing that you've been like, that was downloaded that you're like, oh, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that. Stop talking about it and do it. It's time. Make the announcement call the person, send the email, do it. Do Utilize the change. Utilize the Mars Uranian change for positivity. Don't fight it. Yesterday, I, um, I did it. I've been talking about these things for so long and I just like sat down and did it. And I almost threw up after I, after I did it. I started a... Um, a fan, I guess it's a fan page on Facebook, page on Facebook, Paul Flanagan, at Sensible Paul. Uh, all of my readings and stuff are gonna go there. You obviously are there, because that's how you saw this. Um, 
I'm starting a Patreon. So if you want exclusive content, I've been filming some exclusive stuff and recording some exclusive meditative bike rides. <laughs> exclusive meditative bike rides. I've been recording some bike rides and, and those that content will be on the Patreon. Um, so follow me there. Uh, I'm gonna do one tier to start and then we're gonna grow. Um, so hashtag affordable, but go over to the Patreon at SenseWithPaul. And then um, the one that I almost threw up about, I am starting an, an OnlyFans. This is going to be a spiritual based OnlyFans. DM me if you want more details on that. It's time. Here's the big opportunity here. With, with the inspiration center of the Leo moon, we have an opportunity to clock into what our, what our personal mission statement is. I realized recently that my personal mission statement is to be an advocate for holistic authenticity. Yep. That means that I am advocating for all of it. So, moving forward, that's what we are going to do. Last Saturday, we had the workshop, Process Manifest Workshop. I'm doing it again on the 30th. If you would like to attend the workshop, DM me. I have an artist discount. Um, I'll tell you all about it. It is. It was so, 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 so profoundly beautiful. I'm so thankful to all who attended. Please join me. Um, uh, we talk about all the things. I have some videos down below of, in my feeds. So, um, you are loved. You are beautiful. You are not alone. You are seen. I am here for you. Um, let me know if you want to come to the workshop. If you want help figuring out what your mission statement is, the workshop would be perfect for you. Don't let money stop you. Okay, we'll figure it out. These are hard times, but not that hard. Bye.